Welcome back everyone. In our first section of this series, we dived into the intricacies of routing in Next.js. With that solid foundation, it's now time to move on to the second section, rendering in Next.js. At its core, rendering is a straightforward concept. It's the process of transforming the component code you write into user interfaces. However, Choosing the right time and place to do this rendering is vital for building a performant application. You might have come across terms like CSR, SSR, and RSCs and felt a bit confused. Don't stress about it because this part of our series will explain everything clearly. Before we dive into rendering in Next.js though, let's first understand rendering in React, the library on which Next.js is built. This understanding will help us better grasp how rendering works in Next.js. Finally, I want to mention that we will be covering a lot of different concepts in this section. As you watch the videos, it is normal to find some topics a bit tricky at first. If you don't fully understand something in a video, try watching it again, maybe even a third time. Trust me, going over things more than once can really help you understand them better. All right, now that we have covered this section introduction, let's explore rendering in React. 